hey crafters it's your girl again with another video so today i will be showing you how i made this tutu but guess what i made it with a scrapped leftover um tool it was so little that i had um sitting down and i got this order for a new for a three to six month old baby and i'm like oh i can use this so if you want to see how you can use your leftover scrapped and not to waste it keep on watching because i'm about to show it to you honey so let's get into this video hey guys so i will be using this here and this is what i have used in the past like um i had used this for a project and um i have this left this is the reason why i say you don't throw away your stuff because um you never know when you're gonna need it so now i need this for uh kind of a three to six month old baby so my measurement for zero to three months is six inches long and my newborn is four inches long so this baby is three to six months so i am going to be making a, a length of five inches long so when i measure this from here to here it gives me 10.5 inches long and for a uh, newborn is four inches long and for zero to 12 months old is six inches long so i'm gonna be doing five inches long for the kid but um you know we're gonna fold this into two so as to get the channel created so that's what we're gonna do so when we fold it this is gonna turn into five inches long so that is perfect because that's the image I want for the um, three to six months old baby. So that's the reason why you don't throw away your 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 tool when you cut it. You never know what kind of projects you're gonna make, so you wanna always save this because um, you can use it. So now I'm gonna just fold this into two equal halves, and that will make it a uh, five inches long. And um, if this is not enough, remember I'm going to put a ribbon. It's going to get me to the inches that I want. But for the most part, I should be good, actually. So, y'all, it's time for me to create my channel. So, you make sure that you have enough room for your waistband. So, now I'm just going to go ahead and create my channel. Drop my pressure foot down. So in my hand, I have like four loose um, tool in my hand. You should either have um, two loose and one folded <laughs> makes it four. So I don't know if I'm really making any sense. I will have to like make a very detailed video because I have a request for that. So that video is going to be a step by step. So I'm going to explain better. I'm not going to do no fast forwarding, no none of that so that you guys can really achieve from me it is time for us to start sewing i'm excited but anyways let me emphasize on this i know i must have said it but i love to make sure that you guys really understand that this stage here is your um foundation so you want to make sure that your foundation is looking good and the rest is gonna be very easy for you so um when sewing your channel make sure that you arrange it you hold it arrange it get everything straight because that's gonna make life way 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 easy for you trust me and um, when i started uh, making tutu uh, my foundation wasn't good and i was suffering but when i got my foundation good honey everything was so easy so but anyways um i'm just gonna have you guys watch me and see how i do it and we are gonna go from there <laughs> So I'm just gonna measure. So when I measure this, this is six inches long. I'm gonna go like this. So you see, this is six inches. Let me go like this. All right. So 
can you guys see this is six inches long and i actually need just five inches but um like i told you guys my zero to 12 i do six inches long and i wanted this to be five inches long so um i'm just gonna leave it as it is six inches is just perfect for me and i don't need no um ribbon to make it longer so that's perfect so um like i told you guys this is like my leftover pieces that was left from one of my tutu that i made for i guess uh three years old child so i'm not sure how many yards this is because i realize i have this little piece left somewhere so i'm like maybe um this is not up to um the yards that i want i always like like eight yards for zero to for newborn i do maybe seven yards i have six yards but i like to do seven yards for newborns because i don't want it to be too full for them and um, for zero to 12 months i do seven yards but i'm gonna make it eight yards and um that's what i just prefer i want it to be fluffy i love my tutu to be fluffy so i'm gonna measure this to make sure how to know how many yards i have so i'm gonna go ahead and measure this we have 36 inches in a yard so this will make it one i just wanted to be sure how many yards i got i cannot remember maybe now with all my um tool that is left i'm gonna be putting the yards but i always go for 10 yards but um that's my sweet spot it's 10 yards actually so let's make it two yards Seven. So this is seven and some inches. This is actually what I'm supposed to use um, for this two, 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 seven yards. But the fact that I have this little piece left, I'm gonna use it. So um, I like my two, two to be really fluffy, like I told you guys. So I am gonna use everything that I have. So my this tutu can be really fluffy so this is two yards here so that will make it nine yards i don't mind it's okay it's extra so i will make it nine yards in total i know i'm just gonna measure this to be sure is what i want it to be oh i always like to use my ruler that i have here and it shows me this is 5.5 so that's that's okay So you see the importance of saving your tool whenever you cut it. You want to save it. You don't know what kind of project you're going to get because that can add up. That can save you some money, you know. Um, that's what every business person wants. To save money. I've been feeling nothing lately when without you. For this um, tutu, she wants this holly Christmas design and she wanted to be paired with like a light, a cream, a tan kind of color to go with and she wanted with a green. So this is how it's going to be. So um, I give my customer an option to choose what they want and this is 10 yards. And so I hope I'm gonna have a little bit of this left so I can do the bowl. Otherwise, it is what it is. So this is a uh, wired, um, what they call it, wired ribbon. So what I usually do, I usually take out the 
wires if I realize that um, um, what I like has wire in it. So here are like I got two of them, so I have to pick pick what I really want. Let me show you guys what I got. The second one. So this one also have wire in the in it. So I'm just going back and forth between these two, which of them I should go for. But um, I'm thinking if I pair this two, I know how it's gonna look like. So it doesn't look like it's gonna be pretty. So I'm thinking I'm gonna take a picture and send it to the customer and see what she thinks. So guys, I already started, and um, you already know the process. Pretty place down. So um. I am gonna go ahead and just sew this up. So I had already taken out the wire from the ribbon, honey. That took me forever. Just want to make sure that um, it is seven inches long and if it's not the ribbon is gonna get it there so there we go you see that it is exactly seven inches so the way I'm sewing it it is seven inches long so with the ribbon you can extend it so that's a good part The ribbon you can get it to the inches that you want if you don't have enough um length or if your length is shorter than what you need So sorry guys, I lost my footage while I was sewing the rest of the ribbon. So, but these are the ribbons I'm using the colors, and she wanted like a tan cream, whatever you call this color, and green on top of it. So, um, I had recorded this, um, but of course, um, things happen. So you guys already know when sewing. You make it the second and third ribbon is how it's gonna look like you make it pretty place facing up and you just sew so um, but anyways um, I'm gonna make sure next video you get a full um, footage all right guys so I am gonna go ahead and put this through and I usually so this is 13 inches long and I usually just clip this so that I can roll this in. So remember there are like two holes here and you want to make sure you put it in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and look for the middle. Leave on it. I've got the middle. So I always put like pins on two ends. So this other end is for me not to miss it. So that end is for me not to miss it. And here I give this a pinch. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this through the middle. And I'm gonna run it. So this is the most easiest step.
my kids needs my attention so I'll have to take a break on this here and come back I'm gonna come back and show you guys the final look when I am done passing this through because this here is just um, reputation we're just passing the band through it and that's it nothing more nothing less so guys this is how the tutu came out it's really beautiful you can see how pretty it is it looks like a bell dumbbell whatever like it is so fluffy I mean when I mean fluffy this thing is fluffy so I used 10 no nine yards I was supposed to use seven yards for um for as, as three to six months but i'm like you know what i got the material i'm gonna give it to the baby so that's the reason why i got a lot of it that's why i got nine yards and um you can see it is so fluffy it looks so beautiful like so beautiful you guys let me know what you think if this is a design you would love to try the design actually came out good i did not know it was gonna come out good um that was the customer's choice she wanted this design for her daughter and her daughter is three to six months and i wasn't seeing this coming through because i wasn't i'm i haven't done this kind of design before but um uh, that's a good but uh with my business the customer gets to choose whatever they want and I provide it for them so I am excited I got it to work out good if you want to see a video how I got the shirt design and printed on this shirt go ahead and check out this video because it's gonna show you exactly the step-by-step -step on how I got this printed out on the shirt and um, but anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you like this go ahead and give me a thumbs up so that other um crafters or potential crafters can see this video and it's going to be helpful for them and don't forget to subscribe i will be providing you guys valuable weekly content so you don't want to miss out so go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the bell button so that you can know each time i post a video and i hope to see you guys in my next video stay positive work hard and make it happen bye Bye, see you later. Bye, 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 bye